everyone, this is Cindy Crane, The Heart, and today it's all about stencils. So I am going to be talking about the new stencil that comes in the Not Too Shabby Shop um, subscription box of the month. And this is the stencil. It's um, designed by Call Me Crafty Owl, and it's adorable. It's this honeycomb stencil, and we're going to be using this in four different ways. We're also going to be using other products from the box, um, the Ephemera for both collections. I didn't use this stamp set, um, but I used the Hummingbird Flutters paper and the Sweet Bees paper and the Ultra Cute stamp set, which is just adorable. This stamp set is called Oh Honey. And remember, if there are extras, you can buy them in the shop a la carte. And I believe you can use the discount code, which is in my um, description box. The link to Not Too Shabby Shop is there as well. Um, I think that, you know, you always can fussy cut, but I do think that the dye for this one would be a nice addition just because of the hair um, and the swing and the flower might be easier to have the, um, the dye for this one, but it's not totally necessary. But anyway, it's adorable. I'm going to get this out of the way. I am going to leave my stencil and hopefully I don't need that again because I need more space. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first one I'm going to show you is one of those four different ones. I'm going to show you guys foiling. Okay, so for foiling, you may or may not have a mink or a laminator, but you have different options for foiling. So to foil, I actually have, um, this is from the um, Sparkle and Shine the the stencil for that is these paw prints and so i did a rainbow foil on this one not really rainbow but it's kind of like a rainbow foil and then i did a um um like a rose gold foil which is also the rose gold that i used for this one so to foil your stencil what you're going to do is you're going to take your stencil and put it over your paper and then you're going to use this transfer gel duo um deco foil it's kind of like a gel that you would then just use whatever tool you've got and you would just tape down your stencil and then just put this over your stencil and then you have to wait till it dries at least an hour um it'll be tacky I actually waited to the next day and it was like almost dry and I was like, oh, I wonder if it's going to work. It totally did. So then you put your foil um, over the gel medium once it's dry and then you can just run it through your die cut machine and the pressure will make the foil stick to the gel, that, that the special gel. Or you can run it through your heat machine. So both ways work. I think the heat is probably going to give you uh, more even coverage, but you absolutely can, if you don't have a mink, you could go ahead and just use your machine. So for these, I used my, um, I have a Spellbinders machine. I used to have a cuddle bug for years until it just totally died on me. So let me just show you the project that we're going to make with this one. So to make this project, what I did was I actually just took that foiled piece and I used a hexagon die to cut a shape. So I'm going to use that. And then I went ahead and I put my little guys on my ephemera pieces on with foam. And I've got foam in the back. So what we've got here is a card base. It measures eight and a half by four and a quarter. And then you're going to go ahead and score at four and a quarter. So you end up with a four and a quarter squared card. And then I've got a, um, a piece of paper from that B collection that measures four and an eighth by four and an eighth. So we're going to go ahead and put this on here. So this is what they call a tent card, I think. That's what they call it. So I think I want it like this. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this on here. Because this is measuring four and a quarter, this can actually go as high to make a five and a half by four and a quarter card. So I've got it um, on the bottom half of this hexagon. And then we're going to go ahead and 
place it like that. And then I have my sentiment, oh honey, you are beautiful. And that's going to go here on the bottom. And we've made a super easy, cute little tent card using that foiled piece. Okay. So then the next one we're going to talk about is the pastes. So there's a bazillion and one different types of pastes. We can really get into pastes. I mean, you can actually just buy white paste or clear paste and change the color of it. There's a whole thing. We're not going to get into all of that. Um, you can use whatever paste that you want. You basically just tape down your stencil and just go over it. Um, you know, I really like these little cheapy um, spatulas that you can buy. They work really well. And just put your paste on there and let it dry. You need to set it out of the way. Otherwise, you will touch it and get mess it up because that's what happens to me <laughs> all the time um and so the one that i'm using is and you got to be careful too because some of these pastes like the the mousse the tonic mousse they dry up really quick and it's such it's so terrible you got to go use it and it's all dried up so if you do pastes it's a good idea to pull out a bunch of bunch of stencils and just make a whole bunch of backgrounds because the next time you go back to it it's probably gonna be dried up um so I like these small jars because, you know, why have a big one? They're just going to dry out. Um, these are Lunar Pastes from Simon Hurley. I love them. They're extremely creamy and they're easy to spread. And they give you this sort of <clears throat> metallic -y kind of finish. Really pretty. So, you know, these are two that I just pulled out. I use the Lunar Paste, um, the one that's called Shooting Star. So it's this pretty kind of yellow. <clears throat> and so I save all the bits because I can use them elsewhere, you know. So the card that we're going to make for this one is a shadow box card. So I've got a whole video on how to make the shadow box card. Super, super easy. So you're going to need a piece of paper that measures um, five and a half by six and a quarter. And then on each side, you're going to score half an inch and one inch. You're going to do that on both sides and you end up with you fold it kind of like a fan and you end up with kind of this springy kind of thing right here. Okay. Then we're going to decorate the inside. So I've got um, my lunar pasted stenciled piece right here. This is going to go on the inside of my card and I'm just using my um, tape runner because this is just my ATG because it's just fast for me. And that's going to go right here so you want to go ahead and you want to decorate this first so there we go and then I've got um, this piece right here this is I think a lawn fawn die I think and so this is um, cut from the paper I'm gonna put this here at the top and then I have my cute ephemera piece And I do have a sentiment for this, but I don't know where it is. So hopefully it'll pop up. But if not, there is a sentiment that goes with this somewhere. But I'm going to tuck this underneath. And I'm going to kind of put it a little bit at an angle. Okay. So now I have... I guess I might have dropped it. I have a lot of stuff here. But if I find it, I'll pop it on there. Oh, here it is. Um, there it is. Here's the sentiment. Okay. So what I did was I cut a piece of acetate that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And I am going to um, put it on here like so. And I'm going to do the other side. There we go, like that. And then I've got this piece right here, which I went ahead and I cut um, four and a half, um, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I just took one of my um, square rectangle dies and just cut out the middle. Okay. So I'll try and remember to link to the video on like more in depth on how to make these shadow box cards. 
Um, Jamie over at the Not Too Shabby Shop, she made some that turned out really, really adorable. So these are super easy to make and um, kind of have that little bit of a wow factor. And they're going to go ahead and put that on there. And then you've got this cute um, shadow box. So how you put it will, you know, kind of see how much spring you get. I kind of flattened mine out. And then I've got this cute um, little bee, which I'm going to attach with acetate, with um, ATG. I'm going to put it like uh, up here. And then I've got um, my sentiment on some foam, which I'm going to put right here. So here is this card using that stenciled paste. All right, so now we're on to number three. Number three is embossing. So to emboss, you would just lay this down and you would take your embossing pad, which um, I use Versamark, but whatever you've got, and you just smush that pad all down through your stencil. You lift it up carefully, and then you pour your um, embossing powders. So in this case, I used rose gold. I also used um, this Cookie Monster. But you can use whatever you want. I'm going to show you another technique if you use, if you want to do something else. I, I've got another technique for that, which will be the last one I think I do. Um, and then you just emboss it with your heat gun. And then you've got this cool embossed um, image that you can then, you know, use. And it's a really fun technique. Now, if you do more than one, like let's say I did a whole bunch because I was doing a video and while I had stuff out, I was experimenting. The This gets very slippery because that embossing ink is very uh, wet. So you might only do a couple before it starts looking kind of raggedy and you might have to wash your stencil if you're going to be doing more embossing. So that's my, my tip for that. So, so the, the next card we're going to make is a, um, what they call like a Z-fold card. So for this card, it is um, five and a half by eight and a half. You're going to go ahead and score it at four and a quarter and then two and an eighth. And so you're going to fold it at the four and a quarter and then you're going to fold it back at the two and the eighth and you get this Z fold, okay? So this is just gonna fit right in. This piece of paper is um, five and three eighths, I think? Five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So it's just cut slightly smaller than A2 size. And so this is gonna fit right, oops, thanks. Went all curvy on that one. Um, so I'm doing a lot here. So then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place this inside. And here is my embossed image, which is going to go right here. And now we're going to go ahead and I'm actually going to put this in the middle of this green one. So spread your um, wings and let your spirits soar. So I put that in the middle like that. And then I've got um, foam tape on one half of it. So it's going to fit right here. And then I foam tape on one half of this ephemera piece. And it's going to fit right here. So here is this card. Okay. All right. Now down to the last one. So this one's going to be a shaker card, and this one is a fun one. So I'm going to get all my pieces from my card. Um, I need to get a card base. So let's go ahead and get going with this one. So this one is um, you white or clear emboss. White or clear emboss. And then you can ink it. So this one I did black and I just inked it. But um, I'm going to show you how you can ink. This one is um, not the... So 
So I'm going to start with pink. So this is Distress. You can use whatever you want. But when you ink, then it, it resists. So it will resist the embossing. So you would go ahead and you would um, ink it up. So here's the pink. Here is, then I'm going to do yellow. And I'm okay with them touching each other because it looks kind of cool. So then you just go ahead and you ink it up. And that's the yellow. This is scattered straw. So I just thought these colors were pretty together. And this is what I used for the card that we're going to make um, in terms of... So the part that touches the yellow is turning green because yellow and blue make green. So you get this extra little bit of um, color. So it's kind of how that looks. And once you've done that, then you can take like a, um, a towel and you rub over it and it will clean up all of that. So this is what you get. So this is all from that stencil. And I just think it's really, really a fun use of the stencil. So we are going to make a shaker card. So I've got my base. So here's my stencil. Here's my stenciled piece. I cut a hexagon out of the middle and I put all my little parts here. So now what I'm going to do is I think I think I'm just going to do these three colors. So I've got like a new um, thing here. And then I'll show you all the four cards that we made using all these different stencils. So let's go ahead and Before we get started with that, I actually need to put down this piece of paper, which is going to be the backing for this. So let's go ahead and put that one down. And here's my ATG. So let's go ahead and put this down. And this was actually a scrap from that card that we made, the shadow box card. This is the other side of that piece we cut out. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we'll put yellow and they're all like new I guess and we put some white Oops, sorry it's white right hard to open some of this white and last but not least we'll put some pink and then we'll make this card and I'll show you all the cards. The, there's lot, there's a million and one techniques we can use for stencils. And, um, you know, I encourage you to, you know, try some of these because they're, they're really fun. Um, uh, there's the pink. Okay, so now I'm going to that a little bit. We're going to take all these pieces off. And we are going to finish this card. So I've got all this foam around my... I mean, if you don't have a hexagon, you could just use a square um, or a circle. You could use whatever shape you have. Um, I just happen to have these hexagon dies. Okay. So now... We just put that down, and now we've got this cool shaker. Okay, so now we have this image right here, which is going to fit right here. I have a huge mess to clean up now. Like I needed a mess to clean up. 
because my place is a mess anyways. My craft room is crazy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put her here. And then it says, oh honey, you are beautiful. And that's going to go right here. Okay, so here is the shaker that we made and the Z fold, the shadow box card, and the tent card. All different ways to use stencils. Thank you for watching. This is Cindy Crane's Heart.